Welcome to this lovely, gentle end of the day practice, just to ease us out, bring us back into breath, to heart, so that we may approach our lives through the lens of love rather than through the lens of anxiety, fear, conflict, all of those things. So take your seat and let's begin. Lifting the hands and pressing the palms together. Inhale. Ooh. And the hands coming back down the chin, gently lifting up and the eyelids open. All right, removing possibly, depending on your hips, the bolster that you were sitting on. Staying in Sukhasan, you can always pad out with blankets if ankles and feet hurt. And coming forward, your are Okay, Don't be content with where the hands have landed. Walk the right hand more and feel the right waist lengthen. Walk the left hand more and feel the left waist lengthen. And now looking up and walking ourselves over to the right, really twisting to the right. Stretch the left arm. Keep the right arm bent to help you to turn and twist and lowering the head down. With each exhale, roll the left buttock to the mat as you twist forward. And then to the left hand side. So stretch the right arm, really turn and twist. Press into the left hand to help you twist more. And lower the head down, reaching forward with the chin. And then exhale into that right hip, lowering it towards the mat. And then back to the middle and back up. We'll be changing sides, but first, Vajrasan, with the toes turned under, the feet hold so much tension of the day. So let's really make sure that our fingers, that our inner big toes are touching each other as much as possible. And then reach for the little toes and spread them and sit back so you're really getting the space between all of the toes. Interlock the fingers behind the back, press the thumbs together, roll the front shoulders back and lift the arms, stretching them back. And with each exhale, find the dorsal spine between the shoulder blades and press the dorsal spine forward so it gives support and opening to the sternum chest. And now release and change the interlock of the fingers behind you, so the other little pinky is underneath. Press the thumbs against each other, re-roll the shoulders back. Press down into the roots of the toes. And keep continuing to roll the front shoulders back and lift the arms. And then find the dorsal spine between the shoulder blades and press it forward to further open the sternum blade.
and then release completely, coming off the feet. And Sukhasana with the left ankle in front of the right. Yoga Mudrasa. With each inhale, fill the back lungs evenly and equally, feeling that broadness come. And with each exhale, push into the hands to push the hips back. And then looking up and walking the hands to the right, really turning and twisting, stretching the left arm forward, twisting to the right and reaching forward with the chin. And then walking to the left. Make sure that you're really twisting the left to the left, twisting to your maximum, and then walking the right arm forward. And then back to the front, and coming back up, and releasing, leaning back, just move this bolster, leaning back, and just bend and extend the right leg. And then bend and extend the left leg. And roll back up, and come to Vajrasa. Stretch the arms in front and bring the right arm to the left and cross the left elbow underneath the right elbow. Winding the hands around, finding Garudasan. Push the shoulders down and lift the fingertips up. Turn the head to the right. The eyeballs to the right, shoulders down. Turn the head to the left, both eyeballs to the left, shoulders down. Head back to the middle, keep the shoulders pressing down. And now lift the chin up, lift the chest up. And then lower the chin down. Unwinding, uncrossing, and changing the cross. Left arm coming to the right, right elbow underneath. Winding, winding Kanadasa. Re-lower the shoulders down. And turn the head to the right, and both eyeballs to the right. Through the middle, and to the left, and both eyeballs to the left. And back through the middle. Move the shoulders down again and lift the chin up, lift the chest up. And then lowering the chin, unwinding. 
and releasing. Coming onto the hands and knees, lifting the left knee up, crossing it behind the right, widening the feet apart, and sitting back either on the mat or on a support. So you might want to reach back, take the bolster, and place it underneath the buttocks. We want to keep the knees as close together as possible. So if the hips are very tight, we'll definitely want some support. And now look at the feet and try to move them and adjust them so that they're in line with each other. And when all of that is done, put your hands on the front ribs, lift the front ribs up and bring more space to the abdominal cavity. And exhaling forward, keep the front ribs moving forward so there's still space in the abdominal cavity. And then yoga mudrasa, lowering the chin over the front knee. And then looking up and walking the hands to the right, really twisting, and then stretching the left arm forward, bending the right elbow. So we're reaching forward and twisting. to the left. It's going to be easier on the left hand side, really twisting, stretching that right arm, lowering the head. to the middle, and back up, forward, uncrossing the left knee, and sitting back in Vajrasana. Opening the shoulders a little bit, interlock the fingers with the right little finger underneath, turn the palms out, keeping the elbows bent, bring the backs of the hands to the crown of the head. Move the trapezius muscles down the back, and feel the size of the neck lengthen. Now find your shoulder blades, press them forward, keep them pressed forward as you extend and straighten the arms. Bend the elbows again, find the shoulder blades, press them forward and extend the arms. One more time, bend the elbows, find the shoulder blades, press them forward and from that, Extend the arms. And then bending the elbows and bringing the hands off the head, changing the interlock so the left little pinky is underneath, turn the palms out and bring the backs of the hands to the crown of the head. Move the trapezius muscles down. Find the shoulder blades, inhale. And exhale, press the shoulder blades in and extend the arms up. And then bend the elbows, reignite the shoulder blade action and extend the arms up. Really straighten the elbows. And then bending the elbows, last time, find the shoulder blades, press them in, inhale. And exhale, extend down. And then bending the arms and coming back out and forward. Time for the other side of our Gomukasan. Lift the right knee up, cross it behind the left, widen the feet apart. Take any support you might wish to take underneath the hips and then try to equalize the feet. Inhaling and exhaling forward, yoga mudrasana, really reaching with the hands, 
The arms are what helps to lengthen the waist. Keep walking the front ribs forward. And if you feel that you don't have the same spaciousness as the last time you did it, put your hands on the front ribs and tug them forward before lowering the chin down. Deepen the breath, lengthen the breath. And then looking up, coming to the right, which will be the easier side on this leg cross. And then up and walking to the left, which is going to feel more intense. So insist a little bit on the twist. Feel the belly button twisting before you lower the head down and commit to the pose. And then back to the front, coming back out, rocking forward again, uncrossing and back to Vajrasana. Now we're going to come forward and twist as we come forward, extending the left arm, twisting to the right. And the right fingertips are on the floor, pressing to help us turn and twist. Now turn the head down so it's looking at the mat, it's turning all the way to the left, but keep pressing into the arm and into the fingertips to turn and twist the trunk to the right. And then back through the middle, and of course, changing sides. So reach with the right arm to the left, Walk it, crawl it forward, turn the navel, turn the trunk. Press into the left fingertips to help you to turn more and more. And now turn the head all the way to the right, gazing down at the mat, but keep pressing into the arms, each one helping you in different ways to keep turning and twisting to the left. And then back to the middle. And back up. Gomukasan. So starting with the right arm, the top arm. Extend the right arm, turn the palm to the side, bring it to the shoulder, the left hand holds the elbow, and bring the arm up, keeping it close to the side of the face, and then move the right hand to the middle of the back, fingers going down to the ground. Keep putting that elbow tip up and back, and when you inhale, feel the glorious opening that's coming to the front spine, the side ribs. And then guide the elbow back down and extend, release, changing sides. Guiding the left elbow up, keeping it close to the face. And then moving the left hand to the middle of the back, fingertips reaching down. Keep pressing the front thighs down, pressing into the tops of the feet. Keep pulling the elbow tip up and back. And the hand on the back reminds the dorsal spine of that action to press forward. 
Opening the sternum plate from the back body. And then coming out the same way we came in. And now let's do the Mukasan from the bottom arm first. So extend the left arm, turn your wrist so you can see. And with an exhale, bending the elbow, bringing the arm back. And the right hand is using, is helping, sorry, the left hand to come up as high as possible. Fingers pointing up. And then the right arm repeating. The movements that just went through, elbow coming in, move the hand to the middle of the back and reach, see if your fingertips can find each other. If they can't, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Just this action will be opening areas that need the openings, breathing through discomfort and keep lowering the shoulders so you're not punching the neck, moving that right elbow up and back and pressing the dorsal spine forward. And then releasing the grip of the hands, the top arm coming out, and then extending the left arm out, and back to Vajrasana. Changing sides, extend the right arm out, inhale, and exhale, bending the elbow, bringing the hands back, the left hand helping that right hand to come as high as possible for you. Fingers pointing up. And then the left arm lifts, palm turns, hand to the shoulder, Scoop the elbow in and bring it up. Move the hand to the middle of the back and just look for your fingertips, look for your hands, whatever you can reach. And then breathe into that edge, soften the face. Keep breathing and opening. And then release the grip on the hands, the left arm coming out. And the right arm joining. Vajrasana. Bring the hands back behind you. Let's give a final stretch to the front feet. So walk the hands back, the chest is well open. Lift the knees up and be on the dorsal foot. And kind of pulse like this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back forward, and again, ready, and pulsing. That's it, and three, and two, and one. And forward, last one, pulsing. And three, and two, and one. And forward, and let's release. And just bring the hands back, and bend and extend the right leg three times. Just integrate all those openings and then the left side and back down. Okay, we are now coming onto the right hand side of the body and we want to move our hips forward. So the right hand side of the body facing the ground, hips coming forward to the front edge of the mat, and then lying down on this right arm. And extending your bottom leg to the back corner of the mat, and then joining it with your top leg, the inner feet touching, to the back corner of the mat. So the hips are forward, the legs are slightly diagonalizing back, the middle buttocks are pressing forward, you can keep your hand here for support if you feel that you're in a top. Anandasana, you're going to do a few variations. Feel this beautiful freedom that it brings to the rib cage, to the abdomen, to the shoulder armpit. And now let's bend the top leg, 
Turn the foot open like a Badakonasana and place it on the mat in front of that bottom thigh. Place the hand on the thigh, roll the inner groin to the outer groin and push the thigh away as you stretch that bottom arm away from the leg. So you're feeling this beautiful stretch on the front groins and the entire abdominal cavity and of course the bottom waist as well as the groin. And now let's move the foot, same position but behind the thigh, same action of the thighs roll, same action with the hand to push the thigh away. And now let's move the foot and rest it on the top of that inner thigh. Now really press the foot down and then push the foot away. So you're pulling the muscle, the flesh, the skin of the inner thigh away. And then re-engage the actions of the bent leg like a Badakonasan and re-stretch that bottom arm. Feel the waist stretching, the rib cage opening. This beautiful tearing sensation you can get here right in this bottom front groin. Keep pushing the middle buttocks forward so they're not falling back. And then re-extend the leg back, the inner feet joining. And bending the knees, bending the arm, pushing ourselves back up, changing sides. Left hand side, so the left hand side is closest to the mat. And the first action to take is to move the buttocks and hips forward to be lined up at the front edge of the mat. Then come down and rest the left temple on the left arm, and then extend the bottom leg, the left leg back, so that it's in line with the back corner of the mat. And do the same with the top leg. Keep pressing the middle buttocks and the hips forward. Breathing and looking for the stretch. Sometimes we enter a pose and it's not immediately obvious. Keep charging the legs away, push, pressing the middle buttocks forward, stretching that bottom arm, feeling everything that's happening in the trunk, the front hip plexus, the abdominal area. And then lifting the top leg up and we're opening it and we're placing the foot on the floor. And we're finding a Balakanasana action. Inner groin to the outer groin. Push the thigh away. Stretch the bottom arm. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. We want to explore the new space that each pose brings. And now let's move the foot and place it behind the thigh and reconnect with the actions. And now let's lift the foot and place it on the inner thigh and love this variation and press the foot down and push the foot away. Really feel the tearing, you're pushing the skin, the muscle, the fat of the inner left thigh towards the foot and then re-engaging Parakonasana and your bottom arm is stretching away from that so you feel this beautiful stretch in a very hard to stretch area right there. Maximize that. And then re-extend that top leg back to its original position. Press the middle buttocks forward again. Charge the legs. And 
and then bending the knees, bending the bottom arm, and rolling onto our backs. And make sure to tilt the pelvis so your lower back feels the mat. Almost there. So knees bent, feet parallel, and definitely not letting the toes turn out. So check that. Okay, bring the right foot off the floor, lift your upper back up, hold the foot, and try to straighten the leg as best as you can. If it doesn't straighten all the way, don't worry. Just try and keep extending up through that foot, pushing against the hands that are holding it and your hands pulling back. If you're able to rest your head on the floor, do that, bring the leg closer. And then bend in the knee and release. And as you place the foot, make sure the toes don't turn out. Changing sides, bring the left foot up, lift up, hold the foot, and with an exhale, extend. Breathe through the pain of opening the back of the leg. Try to push up with the foot against the hands and pull back with the hands against the foot. If you can rest the head, go ahead and do that. Bring the leg closer and closer. And then bending the knee and releasing the foot, keeping it parallel to the mat. And now lifting the right leg up, and with the first two fingers of your hand, place them between the big toe and the index toe. Extend the left arm to the side. Now use your arm to open the leg to find that Balakanasana action we had in the last Anantasana variation. Now inhale and exhale, try to extend, and then back in. Inhale and exhale, extend. And back in, the last time, so really go to your maximum, inhale, and exhale, extend. And then bend the leg back in, and foot to the mat, making sure the toes don't turn out. Changing sides, lift the left leg up, first two fingers of the hand between the big toe and the index toe, Right arm extend to the side. Use the arm to push the leg open. Balakanasana side. Inhale and exhale, extend. And back in. Each time we do it, we'll go further. And exhale, extend. And back in. Last time. Inhale. And exhale, extend, push up through the foot, pull with your fingertips. And two. And one, bending back in. And releasing foot to the mat. Now bring the feet together so they're lined up, the inner knees are touching. Feet off the mat. Dvipara Sutta Pavanam Slow the breath right down. And then feet to the mat. One last. Sutta Parantasana one. Bring the right foot up. Lift the trunk up, the shoulders up. Reach for the foot. Inhale. And exhale, extend. And head to the shin. And then bend the leg again. Rest the head. Take a breath. Lift the shoulders up. Inhale. And exhale, extend. Bring the leg closer. Head to the shin. And bend the knee. Rest the head, last time, inhale, and exhale, extend, lifting up, head to the shin, and two, lift the hips up, and one, bending the leg, and releasing. Left hand side, last time, lift up, hold the foot, inhale, and exhale, extend, and head to the shin, and bend the knee and rest the head and neck. 
Bring the thigh close up. Inhale. Lift the head up. And exhale. Extend. Lift the hips so you can bring the legs closer. And then bend. Rest the head on the mat. Last one. Inhale. Lift the head, the shoulders. Exhale. Extend. Draw the leg towards you. Head to the shin. And two. And one. Bend the knee. Releasing feet to the floor. Inner feet touching, inner knees touching. Dvi para sutta para mutasa. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Relax the corners of the mouth. Relax the root of the tongue. And then the feet to the mat, rolling over, coming back up. So if you have a bolster, grab it, it's lovely underneath the knees. And a blanket for the head. I'm going to make mine a double blanket because at the moment I'm having some shoulder stuff. Too much computer work. And so... I'm just giving my head a little bit more support to the shoulders to really relax. As you come in, check that your pelvis is tilted so the lower back is supported. The moment it lifts up, it creates tension in the lower back and tension in the abdominal organs. So really tilting so that if your lower back is one of those lower backs that doesn't know how to relax, you're helping to teach it to feel supported and to relax into support. Arms extended, making an effort to double roll the shoulders back and press the shoulder blades up. The eyelids closing. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, release into Shavasana.
Just kind of bending the elbows and the hands resting on the front hip bones. And then the palms lifting and resting together in front of the spiritual heart, the sternum pedagogy. And giving thanks for this moment of peacefulness. And taking a moment to acknowledge anything personal going on in our own lives and our own minds that has created anxiety, fear, discomfort. And taking this moment to infuse that situation with love, to approach it from love, from peace, to have trust that in this way, a more graceful resolution will be found. And then ending our practice with one arm together. Inhale. Oh. And hands releasing when you feel ready. The eyelids opening. And welcome back. Our mini practice is complete. Remember that as you come out, you will sort of roll over onto the side first and then push yourselves out. And I hope that the rest of your evening is peaceful and kind and loving. Namaste.